I bought a new loaf of bread. I like to dip it in olive oil and eat it. But I have to finish it as soon as possible because something else also wants to eat my bread. This container bag is a barrier between my bread and spores. But the mold is sneaky. One or two spores had already landed on my bread. All they need is the moisture trapped in this bag to thrive. Within days, the bread was covered by a white filamentous structure. Touching this bread is not that simple anymore. I have to open windows and wear protective gear. Inhaling the spores can cause respiratory illness. I'm looking for a greenish black patch where the spores are ready to fly. Let me introduce you to Rhizophus stolonifier, an expert on decomposing bread. Let's take a sample. You are looking at the spores of the mold. Spores are designed to catch any current in the air and take off aimlessly until they land on something to create multicellular structures called hyphae. Here is a cutout from a fresh loaf of bread and this is from our moldy bread infested by hyphae. The inside of the bread is full of tunnels and caves. Perfect place to high feet to thrive. And they are so thin, even under the microscope, it is impossible to determine which bread is fresh and which is moldy. You can stop squinting. The fresh one is on the right. High feet are the continuously growing network of lemons that digest reproduce and decide where to invade next. Some hyphae can produce neurotoxins as a byproduct while executing these tasks. This brings us to think, should we cut out the multi part of the bread and use the rest? The answer is no. Eating any part of moldy bread can cause zygomycosis, a fungal infection that can stop your blood flow and end your life. Mold is a family of fungi, one of the first organisms to live on land around 400 million years ago. They need to decompose organic materials to survive. Today we know they can eat plastic, nicotine, and even nuclear waste. Of course, a loaf of bread in their menu as well. Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. Thanks for watching. And if you like what I have put out so far, please consider subscribing. I'll see you soon.